In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a couple of key plays from our West Coast free offensive guide, um, and we're going to be talking a little bit about part five. Um, now, if you've missed some of the videos that we've done on the Gun Bunch, all you got to do is check the description. There should be a link to a playlist there for you um, where you'll be able to get access to all that material. Now, if you've never met me before, maybe this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, my name is Cody, and what I do here on YouTube is I do Madden 21 tips and tricks breakdowns. And in today's video, we've been doing kind of a series on the West Coast playbook. It's one of my favorite playbooks of all time. It's actually the first playbook that I ever learned uh, in Madden 21, but I actually learned it back in Madden 11. And it's consistently evolved and is always one of the best playbooks year in and year out. Um, so if you're interested in our content, we post videos at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time every single day on our YouTube channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And we're going to jump right into uh, Gun Bunch. So we've been talking on uh, the last couple of videos about the power of Gun Bunch, specifically the power of um, some of the old-fashioned uh, Gun Bunch staples and how to kind of revitalize them in Madden 21. Now, uh, the play that we just broke down was the play Verticals, and I wanted to give you a little bit um, of an additional uh, setup, um, just an additional notation uh, to this play. Now, obviously, what I'm doing is I'm showing you the main setup, so I'm not necessarily showing you anything beyond that, because what I, um, because the, and the reason why is because you can kind of create and freestyle some of that on your own as well and put your own twist on it. Now, the play we're going to be going over today is Deep Corner. And we'll get to that in a second. And we're gonna, but I want to start with verticals. Now, obviously, our base play that we come out in every single time, um, it, unless something you know just crazy is is happening, is going to be this play mesh post. Okay, that's my favorite play um, in Madden year in and year out. It's it's why you call the gun bunch from the West Coast. So you have mesh post. Now, what you're gonna notice here on the play verticals is we talked about the power of this route to the back. Um, this little block and release route, I love this route. This is probably one of my favorite routes in Madden. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice is how good of a job it does against pretty much any coverage. Against main coverage, um, he's going to do a good job of, of becoming like an option route, basically, um, and, and do a little out route or an in route, depending on the leverage of the coverage. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if I'm in verticals and they're in man-to-man -man coverage, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip the man coverage. I just want to show you here. And what you'll notice is this back is going to go on this little option, little out route, and he's going to be able to torch man-to-man -man no matter what. So you have that as a check down. We also talked about how you can utilize different types of hot routes on the left side uh, to be able to make this more effective. One of the things we didn't talk about in that video that I wanted to cover really quickly in this video is how um, effective it is against Mabel coverage, right? A lot of you have probably seen some version of what I'm about to show you, and that's a simple Mabel coverage. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm going to put both of my guys in the slots on these little flat zones, and I'm just going to have a little bit of middle coverage. What you'll notice from verticals, and I feel like it's better this year than it's ever been, is again, and the trick with verticals is you motion them out, you motion him back in, and then you motion him back out, and then you can get the motion snap. What you'll notice about this tight end is against Mabel coverage, when you're running verticals against Mabel coverage, you'll notice that this gets wide open for about 20 to 25 yards right up the seam. The seams don't really cover that vertical route to the tight end. Normally, we wouldn't call that. We'd actually probably put him on a streak or a, a hitch route or something like that. This year, I love to call... Um, I absolutely love to call this. Now, it's really good against cover two as well, and I want to show you that really quickly. So we're going to throw uh, both of our outside corners and cloud flats, and then we're going to double flat both sides. Now, we do have a little bit more middle coverage, but what you'll notice is this is going to quickly open up, and the window is going to be wide open. So again, you're going to motion Miller out. You're going to motion him back inside, and then you're going to motion him back out one more time. And now what you'll see here from the tight end is he's going to threaten that seam right up, right up top. Now, one of the other little adjustments that you can make to verticals is a really, and it's really more for if you if you know they're in zone, right? If you don't know they're in zone, if you don't know if it's man or zone, you really want to leave that route to uh, that route to your slot, uh, your slot receiver. You kind of want to leave that route on the field, uh, in my opinion. If you don't know if it's man or zone, if you have a pretty good hunch that it's probably going to be zone coverage, one little adjustment that you might test out is just simply streaking Godwin. What that's going to do for this play 
is it's going to allow him to properly run off a lot of the vertical, uh, a lot of the zone coverages. So you'll see like against cover two, you're going to be able to throw this. There's a lot more of a window to throw that route right there if you streak that, that receiver. So I just wanted to give you that quick update. And um, I want to keep cranking through some of the plays here. And I want to talk about deep corner. Um, now deep corner can be ran several different ways. The way that we're going to show you today is we're going to show you it as a right side flood concept um, between the slot corner, the tight end, and then obviously Scotty Miller. And what the biggest and the most important thing about deep corner, in my opinion, is this backside dig route to Mike Evans. I actually don't like to change any of the routes except for Scotty Miller. And what I like to do with him is I'm just going to simply put him on a streak route, as you can see right here. He's going to go on to a streak. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to motion him out, just like we've been doing, motion him back in, and then motion him back out. And what you'll see here is you're going to create a nice little flood concept. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that you're, this is not a great look against man-to-man. -man. So what do you do if they're running man-to-man? -man? What is something that you can do that's effective? Let me talk about that really quickly. If they're running man-to-man -man coverage, one of the things that I actually really like to do is I'll take Godwin and I'll smart route him so he goes on a little bit more of a slant out. And then you'll notice with Scotty Miller, I'm going to put him on a little hitch here. And what you'll see this little hitch does is he's going to sit against man-to-man -man as a nice little snap throw and, and deliver the football to him. So that's, that's an option that you can do with this play against man. But all in all, against man-to-man -man coverage, the primary thing that you're going to do um, if you face man-to-man -man coverage from this specific formation um, is simply smart route Godwin. And what you'll notice is this route will sometimes get wide open, especially if he has 90 deep route running. Unfortunately, he doesn't in this video. So uh, he'll be kind of his separation will be almost kind of random. Sometimes he'll get it, sometimes he won't. But you'll have that option. The biggest thing that you'll have against man-to-man -man is this backside. See, that's what I'm talking about right there with that slant out. See how he got. See how he got over the man coverage, over the press man. A lot of people will man up the slot, and they kind of think that that takes everything away. It actually doesn't. And again, there's a million and one ways to run deep corner. But what I like about this setup here is it's a really, really good flood. And that's what I'm talking about. You get that pass lead up, and you're able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage. To the outside now you know obviously you don't want to dismiss man-to-man -man coverage people are going to run man especially if you're on the current gen uh console and so people are going to run man-to-man -man coverage so you have to have a solution for it in this specific play one of the things that i actually really think works well is putting the back here on a little option route and what you'll see is he's going to beat man-to-man -man fairly consistently most of the time especially if you're playing mutt and you have like a reggie bush or something like that you will get a lot of separation from your running back and i know it's the simplest thing in the world to put him on an option route but this option route is really really powerful in this year's game as you can see he's able to beat man to man to the outside and anything that's able to be man to man in my opinion has a lot of power now obviously the next thing that you but but again you don't want to lose your principles for zone coverage right part of the trick to beating man is to be able to beat man to man and at the same time still be able to beat zone coverage a lot of people will lose their zone integrity. So someone will have a man beater, but it doesn't really do anything against zone coverage. So what you'll see on this backside is this dig route is very consistent against man. It's very it's very consistent against zone. You could pretty much run this backside dig against any coverage, and it will be effective. So that's man coverage um, as far as stock. Now what I want to do is I want to show you a couple different adjustments that people will make. Maybe they put the purples. Uh, maybe they put those outside corners or those outside safeties into purple zones. Now, if you see something like that, that's where leaving this post route to Scotty Miller on and motion him to the outside is actually very valuable because it's gonna put a lot of stress on the middle of the field. So let's just say, for example, um, they're using your backside dig, right? They're, they're gonna user that with their player. So they might put him in a hook curl or something similar to that type of zone coverage. Well, what you're going to get with deep corner is you see how you have this nice skinny post route to Scotty Miller. This route is, in my opinion, very underrated this year. It's actually very good um, from this. And what you'll see is he should be able to beat man coverage, especially if he has that threshold of route running. Um, you see there, cuts to the inside, click on, and you're going to get that nice catch against man-to-man -man coverage. He actually gets over the top of a lot of man defenses as well. 
and that's kind of why people will start to put their you know they might do something like this but the problem is who are they going to use her in this situation you know realistically they're going to have to use her that safety on the left which is going to open up a lot of other things and part of understanding bunch is understanding how you can get stopped so that you can kind of plan for that so if you think it's man to man i'd actually almost recommend leaving miller on his skinny post and simply smart routing him uh, i love to smart route chris godwin you'll see he's going to get a lot of separation against man to man coverage um from a especially if he has like a slot of matic now obviously chris godwin's slot of matic so don't miss that but do understand that he, in general if he has over 90 deep route running he's going to get separation but i wanted to shift gears now and i wanted to talk a little bit about this play as it, it pertains to zone coverage so essentially on the left side you have a, a nice little kind of two-man read you're either going to hit the option route or you're going to hit mike evans on the play side, on the strong side of the formation here, the bunch, what I like to do is simply run a flood. I don't want it to be super complicated. And honestly, sometimes I'll just snap the ball right when he gets back here. But you want to snap him kind of right in this little pos like right in this little position right here. And what you'll notice is this corner route on the outside will tend to do a pretty good job um, against a lot of different defenses that you're going to face. Because again, it's coming from the outside. It's not coming from the it, 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 it's you're giving it room for it to be able to run itself basically open against zone coverage i'll show you what i'm talking about uh right here so again you've got this motion you motion miller out motion him back in and then motion him back out and what you'll see here on this corner route is see how he's able to run now again cover two does stop that and you have to be aware of that but it only stops it at certain points again one of the things you have to understand when you're talking about beating zone coverage is you have to understand that these routes will come open at different windows and different points. And that is really, really important for understanding kind of how everything is going to open up for you. Uh, and what you'll notice on this corner route here is if I throw it to the right right here, I can kind of fit this in this window. Now, again, obviously, if they don't double flat, you can easily hit the tight end for a simple game. There's no, and, and what's really nice about this being kind of a traditional flood, as you can see with this vertical stemming route to Scotty Miller, even if you left him on the post route, he'd still do it. But you'll see he's going to pull that cloud flat, and it's going to allow you to get upfield a little bit easier with your tight end. So, for example, if they're playing, even if they're playing uh, soft squat zones, what you'll notice here, he's going to run up with them, and I can hit this little flat and basically just get, you know, six to seven to eight yards uh, fairly fairly easily now on the back on the back side i wanted to cover um i wanted to cover this route against cover two real quick whoops i accidentally hit timeout um if you guys have not already joined my text message membership it's completely free to do that i wanted to highlight that really quickly um it's a great way to take your game to the next level literally all you have to do is text me and basically what i do is every single week i send people um who have joined my text message membership i send them a high level madden video of some type typically over an hour we have full defensive schemes uh, full offensive schemes full playbook breakdowns as well in that so if you're interested go ahead and shoot me that text some of the guys have said that it's more effective for them than even buying you know ebooks and different things from other sites okay so what i wanted to show you here uh on the back side and this is primarily for cover two but if you take a look here what's going to happen is this backside dig and of course, you know, the, I, I, you know, of course I got super shedded by, by the defense, but what I want to show you here is this backside dig is really, really effective at just simply running itself open. So we'll show you that really quickly here. And a lot of times they're going to be usering, you know, over here on this, on this right side flood. So if you take a look at deep corner in this regard, you're going to have, you know, and again, you can still run this post. I'm not saying not to run the post. I'm just saying the streak will help some as well against other coverages. But what you'll see here, you have time in the pocket. You can step up. I don't know why Redmond's jumping down on that like he is. I think it's because he's in a mid-read. But you can hit you can hit this in route. I just threw it a little bit late. And let me show you what I'm talking about right here. So this is deep corner. And I just want to show you the in route on the left. And what you'll see is pass lead this up. You always want to pass lead this up almost always. It's going to open it up very nicely. Um, against pretty much any zone in my opinion cover two is going to do the best job um, of all of the different zone defenses that people could roll with 
Uh, I think cover two is going to be the most effective for putting this play down. Uh, cover three is not going to work. I can pretty much tell you that right now. Uh, what you'll notice here is this dig is going to get wide open against the cover three defense. Now, one thing I did want to cover really quickly as far as it pertains to like cover four. Um, I think cover four does a decent job at this, especially if they double flat or if they have good user on that right side. But what you'll see with this play is it's really going to be op that that dig route backside dig should be relatively open right in that little pocket. Now, one of the benefits for you to leave your uh, your right side guy, one of the benefits to leaving him on a, a post route is because against a cover four defense, this is pretty much a stock cover four beater. As you'll see, he's going to get over the top of that outside quarter on the left, and you can throw that over the top of the defense um, for a pretty nice little gain uh, as well. So the next thing we want to cover is Mabel coverage, right? What happens when they start to Mabel coverage you out of a cover three or a cover four? You know, what does that look like? And so I want to cover that really, really quickly. And what you'll notice from a Mabel coverage, and the reason that Mabel coverage is, is, is honestly not that sound this year, is because of the fact that you can just low ball this corner route against the Mabel coverage. The flat is going to pull both zones out and it's going to basically leave a wide open window. So what people are going to have to do against this is they're likely going to have to do something like this cover two Mabel where they have a cloud flat, a hard flat, and a vertical hook. Um, and then obviously their user in the middle of the field. So because they have to devote those resources to being able to stop that right side of the field, then what's that? what that's going to do for your offense is it's going to open up this backside. Uh, what you'll notice is this dig is going to go right there, and um, and he is going to get open against pretty much any zone in the game. So that's a little bit about deep corner, a little bit about how it works, you know. And, and like I said, as far as man coverage goes, if you smart route Chris Godwin, um, he's going to do a pretty good job at getting over the top of press man, as you can see right there. You'll see a lot of one play touchdowns of people running mid blitz or something like that. Now, if they were to say, let's say that they you know, ran a man blitz, but they shaded coverage outside and over top. I uh, just want to show you that really, really quickly. And what you'll notice here, this is shaded outside and over top. This post route is going to get inside separation against that man man coverage. Now, of course, if you leave him on an, uh, a fade, um, or I'm sorry, if you put him on a, a fade or something like that, then what you're going to notice is this backside is going to be much, 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 much more uh, wide open. Now, Chris Godwin's still going to be okay. Uh, you'll see he is going to get some separation right out here. If I pass that hard to the right, I can fit that in. But the main thing that you're going to want to look at, if they're shading their coverage up against you and they are, you know, and you're not running this post route on the backside, then the main thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look to the left side. So either one of these two guys are going to be open. That dig route is super, super powerful. Uh, I can't tell you how many times. Most people don't build their defense to defend dig routes. Most people build their defense you know, to defend corner routes or post routes. Uh, and so what this is allowing you to do is this allows you to have a really dominant dig route that just comes right across and, and gives you consistent yards against the defense. Now, rollout corners are still a thing. Most people don't do that in Madden 21. But if you have a mobile quarterback, you can roll out. And what you'll see is when you roll out, you can basically just make some decisions on the rollout like that and, uh, and be just as effective. Uh, one thing from cover three that most people uh, ask about is does this beat cover three uh, to the outside? I want to just show you this right here, this route to Scotty Miller. Unfortunately, because of where the cover three, you know, if the cover three safety is coming from left to right, then yes, it will beat cover three. The problem with that is most defenses, especially when they start to face bunch, and this is why I don't really rely on cover three beaters necessarily uh, for bunch, like because mo number one, most people are going to deep half, and number two, you know, most people are going to you know do some other things there as well. But what you'll see is when you motion him out, you'll notice that the safe the corner is going to run with him. If you don't motion him out, let's say that um, you know, let's say that let's say that you do something like this right here, right, and the safety's coming from the left side. If you don't motion that corner route out, 
this is a potential cover three bomb. Um, you'll see that that deep quarter or deep third is going to take him, and then you can kind of have a shot um, depending on on your speed to be able to hit that route over the top. But that is deep corner. Um, basically, what I would encourage you to do with this is simply use this as a flood. I find that to be most effective. Don't try to turn this into you know something that's going to just be a one play touchdown against everything. This is a yard gaining play. And uh, I want to give you one more setup really quickly, um, especially if they're playing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. What you could do is you could do something like this right here where, you know, you just get these little crossing routes underneath. And what you'll notice is this route to Godwin will typically beat man-to-man -man coverage. You could also obviously put him on a slant route as well if you wanted to. But this way you'll get to keep your post route and you don't really mess with anything within the play. You've got flats on both sides to pull those outside zones. And then you've got three routes that can work back in the middle of the field. So those are a couple bonus setups from that play as well. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And like I said, if you want to join my text message membership, it's completely free to do it. Literally, all you have to do is pull your cell phone out and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text message. Let me know that you'd like to receive our text message membership videos. And again, those videos are going to include... Um, basically every single week I break down something high level in the game, whether it be, um, I did a one hour breakdown on the gun bunch. I did a hour and a half breakdown on the big nickel over G I've done. Uh, I think we did over an hour breakdown on one of the sample formations from our new England Patriots offensive guide, which if you want to get the guide, you want to take your offense to the next level, you can click on that link in the description of this video. But those are some of the things that you're going to get when you get the text message membership. So, and you get it every single week. It's always updating. It's always relevant. It's always current. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything being out of date. And it's completely free. Literally just pull your cell phone out, shoot me a text message um, and say what's up. My number is 812-216-3644. Now our next YouTube video is going to go live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. And then we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. So we'll see you guys on the stream.